balls, but whatever. All right. <laughs> I'm done. Hey guys, welcome to TPL TV. My name is Princess, if you didn't already know, and you are now all up in the Princess Life Strial, okay? Well, hello guys. It's been a little while. <laughs> I took last week off, and this was actually supposed to be a Valentine's Day tutorial, like a, um, a, a Valentine's Day look, but Oh my gosh, last week was a rough week for me. I went through a lot. So I'm getting this video up a little bit later than I would prefer to get it up, but I'm getting it up. That's what matters. So I am going to be using my ColourPop Valentine's Day collection. Thank you to ColourPop for sending this over. And um, uh, yeah. That's what we're getting into today. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna be doing my eyes first. I'm just brushing up my brows so that I can conceal beneath them. So I've said this before on YouTube, but let me just say it once more, because people always say, Princess, why don't you fill in your brows? I don't understand. I do fill in my brows, but this is just the first step to me filling in my brows. I conceal beneath them so that I can have um, sort of like a roadmap to where I wanna place my eyeshadow without having to fill in my brows beforehand. Because me personally, I do not like to do my brows before. Like, I don't like to do my brows as a first step. I like to do my brows as more of a final step because that is the look that I go for. I go for sort of a, disheveled um runway filled in but not too filled in type of eyebrow as opposed to a very dark and structured can't really see the hairs type of eyebrow and that's just me personally there's no right or wrong way to do brows i guess unless you're just getting real crazy with it or something you know what i'm saying but um this is how i like to do my brows you feel me okay thank you so I'm just picking up this shade per usual. I didn't plan this look out. I just went ahead and got a color and <laughs> just started doing stuff. I did not expect this color to be as dark as it was, but uh, we went ahead and made it work. You feel me? So the, um, the palette that I'm using is from ColourPop. If you're unfamiliar with ColourPop's brand, you should know that they are really, really inexpensive. This palette that I'm using is probably like $5, maybe $10 max. They are a very affordable brand, but with them being affordable, they are still providing quality products. I'm not sure how they do it, but they definitely do it. So this eyeshadow palette that I'm using is super pigmented. As you can see, it doesn't take much for the color to show up super boldly. And um, I think that for those who are beginners with makeup, you are unfamiliar with eyeshadow, but you, you know, you're trying to slide up and through, you know, try to get up all, all up in it, you know what I'm saying? This is a good brand for you to start with because it's inexpensive, but the quality is definitely still there. So I'm taking one of the shimmers. That's actually a pressed glitter that I'm placing on my lid. And I just wanted to do something, something nighttime appropriate, something that's gonna pick up light, something that's gonna catch light. So this is, this is what I, I chose. I hadn't swatched anything, so I didn't even really know what this is gonna look like on the eye, but I actually liked it. This is how you do glitter the simple way. I um, I know I have a glitter adhesive around here somewhere, but I'm not the type that wants to do the most with looks. I don't have time or patience or the desire to sit down and, you know, get some mixing medium and mix this pigment and this glitter and all of that stuff. I like to keep things simple most of the time. So I just picked up that pressed glitter and then I picked up um, one of the shimmery shades from this palette and I'm just pressing that into the center so that when I, you know, move left and right, 
the center of my lid will pick up more light than um, the left and the right sides of my lid. That's just an added pop. You don't have to do this, but it's just something, a little extra something to put on the situation. You feel me? So now we can move on to skin. I'm using my Too Faced Major Hangover Primer. Uh, this primer has grown on me. Remember when I first tried it, I was like, I don't like this primer. I don't like the smell of it. I don't know if it's even doing anything. Right now with where my skin is, I like this primer because I need hydration desperately. And that is why I am using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. The first thing I'm doing here is um, concealing and correcting as I always do. And I'm using the shade Sable to conceal and correct. I'm placing it over every single um, scar and dark mark that I may have and hyperpigmentation that I have on my skin. And I'm just using a small blending brush to place that down because I don't want to put the foundation everywhere. So now I can go in with my actual foundation shade right now. It is the shade Tiramisu in the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And going back to the hydration point, my skin is super dry right now because of the skincare treatment that I've been placed on by my dermatologist and esthetician. The products that I'm using, um, they are not just drying. Not all of the products that I'm using are drying, thank God, but one of the components in um, the products that I'm using is drying. So I have to stay as hydrated as possible, but also the part of the treatment is an exfoliation process. So my skin is peeling. If you've been following me on my Instagram story, you guys already know all of the details on that and what's going on with my skin and what I'm doing, but my skin is peeling. So I have to use the most hydrating products I can get my hands on and Too Faced products are definitely it. I don't know why I was shaking that up because that thing is creamy and not liquidity at all. So I don't know why I was shaking that up. But this is my Too Faced, I believe this is called Born This Way too. But this is my Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. And uh, I don't remember the shade, but it'll be somewhere on the screen if it hasn't already popped up. But this is how I, um, this is my go-to. These are, this is one of my go-to products for makeup when my skin is doing what it's doing right now. Like during the cold weather, it's me and Too Faced to the wheels fall off or it's me and Milk Makeup to the wheels fall off. So you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of products from them, a lot of um, work from them from my perspective okay because my skin needs that comfort that these two makeup brands bring to me all right <laughs> okay so i'm just blending using my cheap little five dollar sponge these sponges i get from the drugstore are my go-to's but I actually have been sliding back into beauty blenders lately just because um, I ran out of sponges at one point and I was like oh where are my beauty blenders because I don't feel like going to the store beauty blender they might be real and princess back in they might be you know what I'm saying they might be you know <laughs> pulling me back in for the dude I don't know we'll see but I'm gonna go ahead and contour and I'm using my Fenty Beauty Match Stick in Espresso. Y'all know how I do. Espresso is my holy grail baby boo for contouring, lining my lips. I'll be using it for a smoky eye sometimes, you know. It's just, it's a, it's a really handsy dandy product. And if you don't have a match stick, at the very least a match stick in your contour shade, you are slipping, baby boo. You need to get up on it. So I went ahead and switched sides, but I am using that $5 sponge to blend out my contour. It's just easier. 
this way, you know, doesn't take much effort. I'm just trying to get this done so I can get out the house. Remember, this was supposed to be a Valentine's Day tutorial. I'm sorry, you guys, I didn't get it up, but um, I've been really preoccupied with other work, so I wasn't able to. And I also want to start going live on YouTube. I feel like that would be a lot easier for me because I won't have to edit and then upload. You know what I mean? It the, the live video just goes straight to YouTube and I don't have to do any extra work. So you guys, I asked that in the community tab and a lot of you guys seem like you were for it, but I'm not sure if everyone was able to participate in that poll. But let me know below in the comments if you would like to if you would like for me to start doing YouTube lives because that way we'd be able to interact while I'm doing my makeup and I feel like I'll be able to, you know, answer more questions and really like demonstrate things that you guys have genuine questions on like in the moment. You know what I mean? As opposed to waiting for you guys to get to the comments with your questions and I can't give like a live demo. You know what I'm saying? So let me know. Anywho, let's go ahead and move on to the setting process. I'm doing some serious baking here with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. I believe this is the shade Honey. And honey, <laughs> honey, I am baking for the girls. I am baking for the squirrels. And I am baking for the curls, okay? I am just doubling down because I can do that with this Fenty powder. Even though this powder is pretty pigmented, you have to make sure you're using the shade that you actually want to use as opposed to a shade that you know you may not want to use. But this Fenty powder, it blends away like butter. It's so... I don't know what the word to use for it is, but it, 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 it blends away very, very well to the point where you don't feel like you made a mistake putting all that powder down. So now I'm actually gonna be contouring with my Fenty setting powder also, and I'm using the shade Coffee. That's their darkest shade. I love using that to set my contour areas. Um, it's a good cool undertone. It's a, a cool grayish type of undertone, but it's still dark chocolate at the same time. So you are getting a good contour going while setting your contour, you know? But be sparing with this product because it is, you know, it's potent. That's a, a potent shade. Be careful, I accidentally put that on my whole face one time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a disaster, you guys. A complete and total disaster. All right? So while I'm contouring, I'm also dusting off like the corners of the areas that I was baking. And I do that gradually while, well the goal first is to dust off all of the excess powder. And I always dust it towards the middle because I don't wanna dust it onto the contoured areas that I just set because that's gonna change the colors of the areas. So I just try to keep everything in the middle while dusting away and then I pick up my all over face powder, whatever all over face powder you decide to use. I use the MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NW48 and I blend fiercely on all of the highlighted areas. Every area that I, that I went in and baked, I take my all over face powder and I blend fiercely, okay? That's how you get that's how you get away with baking. That's how to bake properly. I might need to do a video on that to expand, but you guys know what I'm saying. So I'm just, you know, using ColourPop's um, liquid liner that they provided, which is, I think it's a good liquid liner, but I'm not using it in the best circumstances since I have glitter on my lids. So I'm gonna have to try that liner again and see what it gives, but uh, yeah. Now we're lining our lips with our Fenty Beauty Match Stick 
and I'm gonna be using some lip tints from ColourPop. At first, I was like, these lip tints are not for me, okay? I am a chocolate woman, and these lip tints are doing absolutely nothing. But when I was editing and I was watching it back, I was like, oh, I get it. It's a tint. It's not supposed to be super potent, but it is just supposed to be like a flush of color. And that's exactly what these did, and they're actually really beautiful. And I really like it. You see the lip color? I could have actually just left it at the pink that it was giving initially, but this is pretty too. So if you're in the mood for a lip tint, I'm gonna be using these lip tints a little bit often, you know what I'm saying? Because I actually really like them. I actually really, really do. So anyway, um, I'd forgotten to put bronzer on, so I am gonna do that before I leave because I was wondering, why does my face look like it's not quite done? Like, what's missing? And then I remembered that I did not put on any of my Mocha Mommy. So I did need the bronzer just to balance everything out because I was looking a little bit yellow. And the bronzer definitely um, added some healing to those yellowed areas. So yeah, you guys, this is the look. This is the final look. Um, I like it. I was in a funk last week but i forced myself to film so i won't say that i was just in love with this look it was i mean it was a look it was a look i wasn't totally in love but it was a look it's something i love the lip color definitely loved that i loved the smoothness of the skin or whatever but then when i really took it back i was like oh this this does look good <laughs> it does look good so yeah that's it. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Yeah.